All right, guys, we're installing our EMP shield on our Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is what it looks like right out of the box. Uh, that's it. Nice little, you know, warranty and whatnot. Nice little instructions here, but we're going to show you guys exactly how to do this, okay? So hang tight. I guess they aren't going to be blowing. Okay, in. guys, so we have our instructions here. They're pretty basic for a different kind of car, but it gives you the general idea, and I'm pretty sure these come standard in all purchases. But what we're looking at here is it's going to be attaching to these battery terminals, and you're going to have one attaching to a ground right down here or anywhere your car may or may not have a ground. So I went ahead and took off these already just to kind of clean them off and whatnot so I can get everything prepared. All right, guys. So we're going to want to start with the ground. The green. The green. And we're going to start with the neutral and then the positive. The green clearly goes on the ground. Right? So we'll stick this bad boy in here. Wrench. Oh, I'll tighten it later. Oh, okay. So then, secondly, we take the neutral wire. Neutral wire, and this is going to go to your negative. Uh, battery terminal. Let's see if I can get this one unwound. Sorry, guys. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to go ahead and put it right here. Slide this bad boy back on here. Let's just stick this down here. And we're going to put this back on. the mid. Okay, lightly put that on there. And I think we should maybe tighten them Yeah, up. then we'll tighten them up. We'll tighten and then we'll come back for oh, the oh. red one, which goes on the positive. Let's see. Okay, we're tighten. tightening this one. Tighten in the ground wire, guys, for the EMP shield. Super easy process, so guys, if you decide to get one of these, don't freak out. It's like, uh, <laughs> I kind of did because I thought, oh, this is going to be a little tougher than I thought, but no, it's really not. Okay, so then, we're going to go ahead and tighten, uh, I'm going to tighten this guy here, because it's battery uh, ground. And then we will come back for the red one. All right, guys. Now we're getting ready to put on the positive. Let's see how should this go. Because this is going to end up being mounted along the side of the battery. You can see right here, it comes with a sticky pad and Velcro. So it's, this is like, not, I mean, <laughs> it's not rocket science, guys. So do this. Get this guy back on here. Hopefully somebody will get some benefit out of this video. I know that I was kind of curious to look up some YouTube videos of how to install these things and then I got mine and I thought, well, that's pretty silly. Or maybe I'll show some others who uh, 
might be as fearful as I was at first, but uh, it's actually very simple, you guys. And this will protect you from those CMEs. Okay, almost there. Long skirt. Alright. Just gotta make sure it's so tight that this no, doesn't move, loose. doesn't wiggle. Well, and then that one doesn't loose and it's just a bit so we can uh, actually have this kind of down just mm. Or I'd say go in the front, the other direction. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. so that way it has room. You can even. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, back it up. Guess we can feed that wire anywhere. But I think it's important, guys. The ground, then the neutral, then the positive, right? Yeah, just so nothing so. has power before it has ground. Yeah. And then we'll cut a little hole in that little red thing to get it around there or not even need to and then that is going to be installed right here on the side so we'll have to zip tie these guys yeah. but Let's it's basically see. just going to fit right up in underneath no, that. that up for you me. can just if you want to lift this hoop yeah. up for me I'll slick this bad boy down here you sure you don't want to go behind the or that that works. Oh, nope, nope. Can't be on that side, honey. You gotta be farther back because uh go farther back even, farther back even, even farther back. Because of that little uh keep going back. There you go. There you go. have to go a little bit more. See, you can't be bumping into that oh, thing right there. Okay, perfect. So there we go. It's upside down and it's already blinking. We did it upside down, guys, but it's still Oh, no, EMP is, it is what it's it is. fine. Uh, and look at that, guys. Yep. If Can you see that green light coming on? That means we did it right. Yep. So then what we do is obviously just kind of... Feed these wires down and around the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. But that'll be no problem. We can actually uh, cable them. Uh, but we'll worry about that at another time. I just wanted to show you guys how simple this was i mean i couldn't believe it myself i was kind of freaking out thinking oh no am i gonna need to call somebody no guys you can do this in five minutes yep three bolts it's three bolts three wires one to your two to your battery and one to your ground that's it guys and that's the emp shield all right uh glad thanks for guys for watching uh, hopefully this helps a little bit if you're wondering how these things are installed uh just a little quick video for you. Thanks for watching.